January 1st, 2020. It's a new year, start of a new decade, and it also represents the next episode for All Elite Wrestling on Wednesday night on TNT, which is even more important considering they got bumped for a Christmas Story Marathon on Christmas Day this past Wednesday. So you have two weeks between shows. You got postponed for a Christmas Story Marathon. So you got to put a little bit of energy into this new year, this new show, because God knows you were trending in the wrong direction at the tail end of 2019. But already, the amateurism is showing. Because one of the featured marquee matches that was slated to happen on that January 1st episode of Dynamite in Jacksonville has now been postponed. I guess an alien's word is her bond. Because Chris Statlander, who had just won the match two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, whatever it is, to become the number one contender, which again speaks to the whole thing of why do you have win-loss records and why do you say they matter and somebody like this can just walk right in and get a title shot. But nonetheless, Chris Statlander beat, wasn't a Dr. Britt Baker, because she's a dentist, gets this number one contender shot at Riho and the AEW Women's Championship. It's scheduled for New Year's Day. And now that match has been postponed until the next week. And why, you may ask? Not due to injury. Not due to time constraints. But due to the fact that Chris Statlander had a previous commitment with Joey Ryan's bar wrestling on that same day. Joey Ryan's bar wrestling. Now, I am not here to crap on AEW for allowing their independent contractors to work other places. That is a good thing and more closely meets the true definition of an independent contractor, not like the illegal racket that the WWE has run for decades with theirs. You're an independent contractor, but you can't work anywhere that we tell you that you can, which means you can't work anywhere else. You're exclusive to us even though you're not an employee, which defeats the whole purpose of an independent contractor and all these special tax laws that go along with it. My issue is not with that. It's the amateur hour of this seems like this is something that is very basic that you would want to know about any talent that you bring into the fold. Hey, you're new to the company. What dates and or previously booked commitments do you have that we need to allow you to honor before we dive fully into you and invest in you and your character and what do we need to think about as we're planning out how we might utilize you on TV in the next few months. But apparently not these idiots with all elite wrestling. They're just going to sit there, hire her, book her in a match, and then realize, oh, ding dong, dumb dick, I guess because she had the previous commitment, she can't work this match, so then we got to play her own damn television. That's Bush League. That's amateur hour. Like, this is something you would ask in a basic job interview. Do you have any time off that you're going to need in the next few weeks or next couple of months? Do you have any previous commitments that would impact your ability to be here on a given day? Things like that. Like, basic job interview questions. And hey, you can't even get those right. Who the hell is running this ship here? That's just inexcusable. Especially, especially when you are spending over a week trying to promote and build up to a match, even though it's not promote and build up for these fricks with AEW, that doesn't mean much. Nonetheless, though, this was one of the last impressions that your fans had on the December 18th show, that the alien was going to face off against Riho for the Women's Championship and now you're having to put that off to the side because some idiot didn't ask a basic fundamental question like, Hey, alien Chris Statlander, no, 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 no. do you have any previous commitments or bookings that would impact your ability to appear on Dynamite? You can't make this stuff up. This is amateur hour. This is Bush League. And this is exactly the type of crap that AEW should know better than to do. 
This is exactly the type of thing that they have to tighten up, that they have to get better at. There is no excuse. There is no defending it. There is no justifying it. This is a bad, dumb, idiotic miss. In the grand scheme of things, because their women's division is worth about two hell of beans, it really doesn't matter all that much, and it most certainly is not going to move the needle one way or another from a viewership and TV rating standpoint, and nor is it going to connect with that Meltzer demographic. But nonetheless, it is still a larger representation of the fact that the guys in charge of AEW don't have their eye on the right balls. I just said that. And that's also probably true. But the fact is, it's these basic things that you just can't have happen. That is totally inexcusable. You can't sit there and book people to be on shows, then to all of a sudden realize after the fact that they have previous commitments. Now, if the talent didn't tell you when you asked, then maybe that suggests that you should punish them by yanking that spot from them. But if they didn't tell you because you didn't ask, then as much as she should have maybe called out, hey, I have this previous commitment, and you could kind of give her some accountability for that, ultimately you're the company. You should know better. Ask these damn questions. This isn't the Bush Leagues anymore. You want to be a major league promotion? Then act like a damn major league promotion!